We'll get back to the Celtics and talking about some of the specific players and their chances for a championship and that sort of thing before we let you go. But just to continue with this for a moment, because you mentioned it, you know, look, like we're, we're not in a great place. And that goes without saying we haven't been for a very long time. Are we in a better place, though, now than we were, say, I don't know, six months ago? Uh, I think we have more awareness, I guess. I mean, I like to see that turn into action. Uh, it's great that people are finally realizing that there is a certain thing as white privilege and that when you walk into a bar and you're the only person of color and people look at you, and I'm not saying that happens to people who are, what the hell are you doing here? Get out. But you notice, like, there's no one in here like me. Um, and you get used to that. And I think that it's interesting that now uh, white people, especially, are kind of realizing, wow, I didn't, you know, I didn't know police, police brutality really existed until they saw a George Floyd video. And then you've got guys, you know, black people were like, man, that's a Tuesday. Like, that just got on video. You know, like, it's something that when you, your relationship as a black person with the police is, is very, it's very touchy. Um, you know, you don't have generally, the police officers don't live in your neighborhood. They don't know who you are. They don't, they're not coaching your youth baseball team. That, that doesn't really happen. So your relationship with the police is very tenuous. Um, you know, you, you drive and you're like, you know, when you get stopped, it could be like, this could be the last night of my life. Depending on me being a big guy, okay, let me put my hands up, give my license registration. You just don't know. Um, and that's, there's a level of fear and uncertainty that happens. I mean, any, any person could say that. Black person, when you get pulled over, you catch the guy on a bad day, you catch him in a sensitive mood, um, you catch him feeling like you're a threat, whatever it might be, it could be your night to go. And I think it's interesting that uh, white folks who kind of saw the George Floyd video, and I don't like this, it's very painful, and, to, and saw that this could happen. And this is a 2020 and, you know, we lived in this quote unquote post-racial America when Obama was president and everybody loves everybody and there's no issues anymore. And then our current president took over and everything split into left, right, whatever you want to call it. And now I think there's kind of an awakening of like, wow, um, there are certain areas of society that are really not diverse. And there's certain shows that are really white and if you look at i mean i was telling someone the other day like you look at a show called friends like there's no black people that lived in new york according to friends like they i you know, it's like you would see the background it's like damn do they are there black people live in new york like and no one noticed no one yeah. no one notices these things you look at boston sports talk radio and you, you know, i watch it on tv like everybody else and you know, you know the shows that are on and it's just like the ones that are on television, you look at the studio, three white guys, three white guys, three white guys, like show, 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 like no women, no people of color. It's like, okay, you don't talk, like, it's like, does anyone notice these things? And I just think now people are starting to notice, okay? They're starting to notice that there's been a level of like discrimination and racism. And, and sometimes it's unintentional or it's, it's ignorance. You just hire who you know. You talk to the people who you're more comfortable with, um, you know, and, and it's spread out throughout society. You know, the NBA, um, there's plenty of black, uh, play, black people, black folks who played in the league who want to be general managers. And they sit there and they watch uh, Sam Hinkie get jobs. They watch guys who are analytic guys because that's a code word for like really smart and well, you know, Kendrick Park, I'm just throwing that. Kendrick Perkins wouldn't know analytics. You know, Paul Pierce wouldn't know analytics, but this guy would. Like, we, it's such a system. And maybe, hopefully, the system can change and be more equal and more diverse. So I think it's gotten the awareness has increased, but I'd like to see that into action. I'd like to see more people of color get interview opportunities. You don't always have to hire, you hire the best person for the job, but you have to offer opportunities to people to get to the next level. You can't necessarily, you can't always, well, you've never done it before. If you never give the person a chance to do it, they'll never get the job, right? So you're gonna have to take a chance. I mean, uh, you know, I mean, no offense, like, you know, we, we, we look at uh, sports talk radio, 
and the, the show, uh, you know, Mike Gola Jr. just gets brought in to uh, he gets radio job because his his son his dad played in the NFL. It's like, okay, like does that happen to black people? Do we does our do our kids get jobs because they're like you know like no, like Mike, not, nothing against him. He seems like he knows what he's talking about. I watch it, but it's like the only reason he's there is because his dad is on the show. No one says a word. I think it's, I just, I just think that has, that kind of stuff has to stop. Now he he's the most talented guy in a tryout and he went through these uh, auditions and he stood up, give him the job, but Hey, my son likes to do talk too. Bring him. Oh, okay. That's great. Like, like, what are we doing here? And no one seems to notice like, or we, or people of color notice the wife. Oh, whoa, you're right. It really didn't. I didn't really realize that. Like, how do you not notice? How do you not notice that there's this blatant nepotism and institutional racism and just, just like, you know, you hire people or you bring people in that you're most comfortable with. You don't give people that you're not comfortable with opportunities. And that's, it's, 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 it's sad. And that's what I hope changes. I think the awareness is there. I think the, unfortunately, George Floyd had to pass and, and be murdered on live, on live video for this to happen. But I do think, you know, it's, it's good that for people to finally realize and notice like, wow, we don't have blacks or people of color in management. We don't have diverse. We don't have people in decision-making that can stop certain things from happening, stories from being reported that could be, make, be uncomfortable. Um, and we, this also brings more discussion. I just think we need to be more open and honest about, hey, I don't know all the, the um, issues of people of different nationalities. I don't know all of what Jewish people or gay people or Latino people have to deal with. And they don't know all like, we need to bring this out in the open. What are your concerns? What are my concerns? So we understand each other a little, bo little bit more as opposed to assuming everybody's got a good, we're all even. We're not, we don't start from the starting blocks even. There's some people who start 10 feet back and they're asked to win the race. So I think the discussion is great. Um, hopefully over the next several months, there'll be more action, um, more diversity, more interviews, more people getting opportunities. If they bust, then get the next guy or get the next gal. That's fine. But just opportunity, I think, is what people are looking for, an opportunity to show what they can do and not be put in a box. And I think Boston's one of those cities that we're so used to being um, the good old boy network. We're so used to everybody helping out their buddies and guys coming up and get guys getting a job in the, as an intern and moving up. And then they look just like, it's like, you know, they all look alike. There's no one saying, you know what, I'm going to give this guy a chance. He might not be as talented, but I see something in him and I'm going to make sure that he's successful. People of color generally don't get those, a lot of those opportunities as much as white people. So let's hope that, so this brings some tangible change. The discussion is good, though.